Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome on back. So today, um, we're talking Kringle Candle Christmas Launch 2023, at least part one of the Christmas launch. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some other ones as in years past. There's been some other collections down the road. I don't know for sure, but we'll get started with this. So um, first, let me apologize for the late video, right? It's only out a few days before. Um, it's kind of a few factors, right? So one, um, when I posted my uh, Instagram uh, reel of this and the photos and whatnot, um, I kind of got mixed reactions uh, from some folks saying, oh, it's way too early for Christmas. Um, you know, let me enjoy the, the summer months still. Let me enjoy some fall candles first, right? So um, so kind of kind of backed off a little bit there. Um, and then, you know, I was busy. I had the in-laws in town. Um, when the, when this package arrived, the in-laws were in town for a few days. And then um, a few concerts went to and just kind of uh, burned out a little bit. Um, from Halloween, right? Halloween was just like, go, go, go. Like all of July and like for the first part of August is like, you know, full steam ahead, uh, with Halloween. So anyhow, took a little break there. Um, I have to look back. I don't remember if this is the earliest that Kringle's released, um, Christmas. I think it is. Uh, so anyhow, so here's the details, right? So, and there's 12 candles. Um, six Kringle, six um, country, all soy wax, three wicks in the country, or three wicks in the Kringle. I'm sorry, I do have uh, some of those as well. Um, not all are new fragrances, though. So, of the 12, by my count, there's four returning. So, that would be eight brand new fragrances. Um, so, first off, September 7th, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. They go on sale. Um, one thing you'll notice, if you haven't noticed already, there is a price increase um, across the whole line, right? Standard, not just um, reserve, not just Halloween, but uh, across the whole line, uh, we have a price increase. And the price increase is as followed. So the new price is going forward effective immediately. Large jars, country and Kringle, $31. Medium jars, $27. Three wicks, $26. Daylights, this is where, you know, uh, $4 for daylight and $5 for wax melts. Um, yeah, price increases. It's 50 cents. I get it. Um, it's not a lot, but, you know, still, <laughs> who wants to have a price increase on them, right? Um, you can still save 15% off with my code, Philly Candleman. Uh, it's valid on, on all these things. They are launching at full price. I would not expect them to go on sale anytime soon because fall still hasn't really gone on sale. So, um, yeah. Now, I will say when I got these, so these were actually, usually when they ship to me, um, I get it overnight. And that's just regular UPS shipping, right? Um, I did get them overnight. They shipped on a Thursday, got here on a Friday, or a Wednesday, got here on a Thursday, something like that. Um, some of the country, and it wasn't really hot out at the time. Some of the countries were very, very, uh, leaky. And so much so that I actually went to record this video last night. Today is Labor Day. I went to record it last night. Um, I opened the lid on this blue spruce here and the wax oils or the color oil spilled on my shirt and I got frustrated and I said, I'm not recording tonight. So I actually put this in the fridge. Um, as you can see, there's some condens. I don't know if you can see there's some condensation on it there, but um, I wanted to get it so at least solidified a little bit to do this. Um, and the same thing happened um, with uh, wishing for Christmas. So these candles are kind of quite frozen <laughs> right now, but um, I just wanted to uh, get that there. So be cautious. Um, this, the Kringles were fine. That was, that was an oddity, um, to be honest with you, because. I had ordered some of the other country soys uh, in hotter weather, and they were fine, so I don't know. Um, but we're at five minutes, and I'm already rambling about this stuff. So let's go over. I have set notes on everything. Let's go over what we got here. Um, I'll go on one by one, and we'll talk about it. So uh, Christmas cake pops. Mm. Uh, white chocolate cheesecake. 
tis the season. There you go. Holly berry. This was another one. You can tell with the, the oils there. Um, love the bird on there. Great label. Great wax color. And I love all this stuff. Um, returning fragrance. One of the most amazing fragrances I've ever created. Uh, peppermint and cocoa. I love that. One of my favorites. Um, crinkle cookies. So remember when Kringle released that um, sweet and savory, and a lot of folks thought that the label was crinkle cookies, and it was actually bread. Um, so here's the real crinkle cookies. <laughs> Winter woods, not to be confused with white woods. Uh, another favorite, and uh, this was a can that Mick confirmed in one of my lives with him uh, a few months back. Reindeer beer. Okay. Squeeze this camera to focus a little bit. I'm all over the place, huh? Uh, let's see what else we got here. Pomegranate punch. Uh, I already showed you blue spruce with the old school blue spruce label on it. And yes, it's different from last year. Yes, it's the real one. Wishing for Christmas. This was a, a very popular one last year that came out in a mercury glass. And probably my number one fragrance, and it's spoiler alert, right? My number one favorite candle of this whole collection that's new uh, for label and for scent, Father Christmas. Come on. Look at that. We've got, um, oh, what's his name? I'm drawing a blank. Um, Kurt Russell, right? Goldie Hawn, Kurt Russell from Santa Claus Christmas Chronicles, right? Do we see the resemblance there of... Kurt Russell and Father Christmas. I have obviously been burning this one. Um, so I can talk a little bit more about the performance on that. And then um, I'll show you the three wicks when I, when I uh, talk about the three wicks. So let's go over with, let's start with um, white chocolate cheesecake right here. So I was actually telling somebody the other day that my initial smell on this, and I don't know how... I'm getting the smell. Um, <sighs> smells to me like the Jello Instant Pudding Pistachio. I don't know why, because um, there's no nuts in this at all, unless it's coming from like the cardamom and the vanilla bean and the cream. But it's so. That's what I get from this. I get the pistachio instant Jello pudding. Right. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why, um, but the notes are oats and maybe it's, I don't know. None of this. Uh, oats, rich cream, cream, cardamom, vanilla bean, and spice. Right, the irresistible essence of rich, uh, velvety cream swirled with decadent vanilla bean and set into an enticingly smooth custard, topped with a crisp brulee layer of delicious caramelized sugar glaze. instant pistachio pudding for me i don't know why um but that's just what i get from this but i'm um, trying to label we got some uh what we got here pine cones some pine cones and then the, the cheesecake custard there so there we have that we'll go over the country first um all right returning favorite everyone loves this fragrance i think i, I think they do um peppermint and cocoa uh by far one of the most strong and authentic peppermint and cocoa fragrances you will ever smell um it came back last year or yeah it came back last year as a kringle returning favorite um but now it's back in the full line so you can get in all different kinds of formats including wax melts which quite frankly it might be all you need because it's historically this is a strong fragrance i haven't burned the country version right i've only burned the kringle version uh first time in this line but my god it's equal peppermint and cocoa um and it is just rich decadent cocoa right milk chocolate it's not the not dark chocolate it's sweet milk chocolate <clears throat> um so it's got crushed peppermint, chocolate morsels, praline cream, vanilla bean, minted woods, whipped cream, and musk. Uh, a 
a uh, heart of praline cream and vanilla is accompanied by fresh crushed peppermint and chocolate minted woods. <laughs> Get this one. <laughs> um, so much better than the, um, uh, there's a, a Bath and Body Works version. This is a lot stronger uh, in my mind. In my opinion. Next, we'll go with Tis the Season. So, love the label. We got the, uh, let's see, we got the Griswold family Christmas tree in the middle of the uh, tree farm in the forest. A nice icy blue. Okay. Um, this one doesn't really scream Christmas to me. Um, it, to me, goes more on the aromatherapy side, uh, which is fine, uh, because this reminds me of a fragrance from Slotkin & Co. way back in the Bath & Body Works days. A, um, it was a lavender, it was the aromatherapy, I don't know if it was lavender chamomile or lavender vanilla. But there's also a citrusy zest in here, but that lavender comes through. And it's not like full-on harsh lavender, by the way. And there is a little bit of the outdoor feel, right? The icy, cold air in here. But the lavender is coming through, and this just reminds me of, um, it was a scent port. Remember the scent ports? They were the rectangular ones. They weren't the wallflowers. They were the scent ports. Um, and he had some kind of lavender fragrance. Um, like I said, lavender, chamomile, lavender, vanilla, one of those. Um... And it was just very calming. This is a very calming scent. <clears throat> so this one reads, Snow-kissed bergamot, blue lavender, ooh, <laughs> blue lavender sprig, sprinkled nutmeg, bright, bright acorn lights, cardamom, fir blossom, vanilla bean snowflake, frosted cedar, and glowing amber. So, I mean, obviously I haven't burned this one yet, and I don't know if I'm going to have to burn it before launch because I... Might be all the time, apparently. Um, <laughs> but bright acorn lights are glistened in the snow kissed far forest with notes of bergamot, lavender, and memorable fir balsam. Vanilla bean snowflake uh, bring familiarity and warmth along with glowing ember and cedar. Like I said, it's a very comforting fragrance for me. All right. Next, we'll go with Hollyberry. Love the green wax on this. I think we had the bird, birds in wintertime, 100%. So this is not, so the Yankee Candle Hollyberry, um, a lot more uh, mm, intense, overpowering, um, in your face, like the old school Hollyberry. This is more refined. You do get the, the different berries, the forest berries. It's a little sweet, but it's not super fruity. Um, you get the nice, sweet winter berries, forest berries, strawberry in here with the green of the holly trees, um, other outdoor trees in here. Yeah, if you liked holly berry from Yankee Candle, you'll probably really like this. It's toned down, refined. Sophisticated. Yeah. Beautiful fragrance. Beautiful label, too. Uh, wild raspberries, green leaves, strawberry swirl, fresh pine, forest berries, cedar, glowing amber, and musk. A medley of juicy berries. Uh, uh, <laughs> a medley of juicy red forest berries is wrapped with beautiful cedar and glowing amber for warmth. There's a lot of glowing amber in these, huh? isn't there? Hmm? All right. Next, probably the two most popular country fragrances this year. Wishing for Christmas. So if you weren't familiar with this, Wishing for Christmas was um, derived, born from uh, reimagined uh, Yankee Candle Christmas Wish, right? Which was the pine and the sugar cookie, right? Um, 
Obviously, the versions of Christmas Wish over the past few years from Yankee Candle have not been that of the original um, formula from many years ago. So sometime in the last like five, six years or so, they reformulated it, and it's just not what it was. It's more or less a sugar cookie fragrance. Um, so last year, this came out in limited edition in a um, green uh, mercury glass jar. Now, and that was limited edition, so now it's, it's in the full line, and I'm not sure what inventory levels are, but this, this label, um, magic here. We have the fireplace in the background um, with the tree, the stockings hung. This is just uh, wishing for Christmas, right? Um, waiting for Santa Claus to come down the chimney, Father Christmas. Right, uh, gorgeous red. It is a darker red than the. Is it? No, it's not. I lied. It's the same red. This one might be slightly darker, but for the most part, it's the same. Uh, yeah. That I don't know. I don't know. Might be the same. Maybe slightly darker. This one's also frozen. Remember. <laughs> um. So there is that. But yeah, it is. Uh, sugar cookie on top, and then a little bit of pine in the background there. Really nice fragrance. It was nice last year. It's nice this year. Um, mine was pretty decent burning last year in the two wick Kringle. So we'll see where this um, see where this goes on this. But I love the color, and I also like that you can get it in other formats too. Um, so this one is Christmas cookies, fresh pine. And vanilla and sugar cane. Basic ingredients, right? Um, the scent of vanilla sugar cookies baking coupled with the refreshing scent of pine combined with creamy vanilla nuances and sugar cane to unite and enhance this warm aromatic fragrance. So if you like Yankee Candle sugar cookie or you like um, the holiday cookies from Kringle or one of their cookie fragrances, their sugar cookie fragrances, um, add a little bit of pine to it. Boom. All right, last country we've got here is the infamous or famous, whatever you want to call it there, Blue Spruce. I say infamous because last year they released Blue Spruce in the Mercury Glass, and the scent was kind of off. Um, now, I could not grab my original Two Wick tumbler in the white um, paraffin wax from a few years ago. It's on the shelf, like buried somewhere. But... This definitely smells more like the original Blue Spruce. Yeah, this definitely smells a lot more like the Blue Spruce um, fragrance tree. You, Blue Spruce is very unique. It's not balsam, right? Balsam is on the sweeter side. This is more like, uh, I'm going to say astringent, right? It's just unique, right? Blue Spruce is unique. It's not balsam. It's not uh, fir. It's not pine, right? Yeah, this is definitely, um, and if you, you know, you can obviously take a chance and get a wax melt or a daylight and try it first and then come back for this um, just to see if it's more towards your liking. That's great now because uh, last year it wasn't available in the, those formats. Yeah, this is, um, I'm going to burn this one soon. <laughs> I can let it fall out and hopefully not let the wax oils get all over the place. I was so mad. I had to put OxyClean on and everything. Um, it's just, you know, part of the... It was, just, it was this polo, and they, they came out. My clothes came out. Um, I got the little stick. So, uh, let's see here. Blue spruce, right? Siberian pine, Douglas fir, blue spruce. Uh, fresh pine needles, warm winter woods. Cool aromatic notes of crisp greens and snow-capped spruce embrace warm notes of amber and earthy woods, creating a unique contrast. 100%. 100%. Um, it's also the, the color of the wax. It's just uh, blue spruce, gorgeous. Uh, and like I said, that's like the same label. I'm pretty sure it's the same label from the original. Uh, it did actually come out in country once before. Now that I remember it. Uh, I remember when Kringle was doing all those like limited edition releases, like with archives and uh, you know the the leather fragrances and whatnot. Uh, it came out that year. 
and it was real limited and it was that color wax with that label i believe so uh it's just not the first time it's been in country it's the second time uh, but those were also just available in large jars. This is available in all kinds of formats here. All right, let's go uh, switching gears now. We're talking Christmas cake pops. We're going to talk the Kringle Candle Line. Oh, my gosh, 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> speed through here. Love the label. You get that warm, cakey, sugary vibe, right? Vanilla sugar vibe. Um, icing, for sure. Maybe a little bit of lemon to a lemon in this? I don't know. Not a bit. Oh, yeah, sugar citrus. There you go. <clears throat> so, yeah, so let's see here. We got the, the sugar citrus, right? So that's like a nice uh, sweet lemon, sweet orange. I think it's orange. I think it's lemon, though. Um, with the vanilla cake batter and the um, sprinkles, right? The, the sugariness on here. Now here is the two wick, right? I think they outdid themselves on the three wick, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's stunning, just stunning. 360 degree wrap around painted, uh, Cake pops that you would find like Starbucks. All right. Um, so they are going to have the gold lids, I think, that I see in the official pictures. They sent me one with a hammered lid. That's just PR for you. Um, but yeah, so cake batter, sugar citrus, candied sprinkles, swirls of butter, and vanilla frosting. And I've got the three wick 100% white soy wax in here. Um, this one says, a swirl of uh, Merry Delight. This fragrance opens with notes of sugar citrus mixed with delicious cake batter, caramel drizzle, and vanilla frosting. The fragrance of Christmas cake pops is a warm and inviting aroma that perfectly captures the spirit of the holiday season. Agreed. Agreed. All right, next up, what do we got? What do we got? I'm going to save that one for last. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, we'll go here. Um, I'm gonna admit this is not my favorite. Uh, pomegranate punch <laughs> should be of no surprise. Um, that being said, it's very uh, pomegranate. <laughs> um, you can smell the um, juice, right? The punch, right? Like it's it's this is a drinkable candle. You could drink this fragrance. Um, fireworks. Um, more fireworks. That's just how authentic this fragrance is here. Now, so it's not my favorite because I don't really do fruity fragrances. Um, but you can see the label here. We do have the pomegranates in there. Uh, some other star. It looks like maybe some star fruit going on. Um, it's pleasant. It's a very, very nice fragrance. Not for me. Not for me. Um, certainly for a few of you out there. So that's that, and is this the label? Yes, this is, yes, this is the three wick. So very nice red snowflake wraparound around right there. So we've got pomegranate, cranberry, apple, cinnamon, violet, jasmine, cedarwood, musk, and vanilla. Yeah, it smells the same. Pomegranate, uh, let's see, take a sip of holiday pomegranate punch. Quench your thirst with juicy pomegranate, tart cranberries, crisp apples, sweet cinnamon, and a hint of vanilla. So there you have that. Okay, like I said, not my favorite. Not a horrible fragrance, just not my favorite. All right, next we have here is Winter Woods. I love the label on this one. And we got the metallic going on here. We got the buck back there. So this would, this is kind of like your um, traditional frozen air, frozen ozone, right? When they say ozone, right? Uh, eucalyptus, uh, spearminty fragrance that's out there. To me, these kind of fragrances are usually headache inducing. Um, that's just for me. But if you like those, Eucalyptus, 
frozen ozone, um, spearmint, any kind of mint candle, all combined into one. This would definitely be for you. This label is gorgeous. Um, the three wick is equally. Um, this, these two, pr the, yeah. So these, two, I'll show them side by side because they're probably the most cohesive between the Kringle and the three wick because they both share like the, the buck in there and the, the woods, you know, this is obviously birch trees. Um, yeah, it's also the white wax. Frosty Air Accord. There you go. Spearmint, eucalyptus, peppermint, apple, amber, cedar, and musk. Uh, let's see. What do they say about this one? Not my paper. Spear, uh, let's see. Vibrant fir needles and frosted eucalyptus lend a frosty coolness to pure blonde cedar and white elm dusted with shimmering spearmint and a warm flannel accord of salt, amber, musk. Amber. Flannel. There's no flannel in this. I don't even pick up on that cedar. Here it's burning. Oh, half out. Came close. All right, <laughs> we got three left here. Uh, crinkle cookies. You. Um, to be honest, I've never had a crinkle cookie in my life. But if they smell or if they taste the way this smells, I want one. It's like it's a coffee. There's an espresso coffee going on in here, followed by like a toasted. I don't want to say burnt, but fresh out of the oven and cookie, like a toasted cookie with the espresso in here. Really nice. Um, totally Christmas to me. Totally Christmas. Fall into Christmas, hundred percent. Going into like a um, a bake shop, coffee shop, right? And not like Starbucks or anything like a local coffee house. Wow, I love this fragrance. Yeah, there's definitely some vanilla going on here. Espresso vanilla. Hmm. <laughs> All right, there's this. And here is the three wick. What do we got? Chocolate, espresso, core, steamed milk, cocoa, brown sugar, and cream. Mm. That's weird. This one's more espresso heavy on cold. This one I actually pick up on that the warm sugar in here. Both are nice. I like them both. All right. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Now here's the returning fragrance that everyone I think has, has been waiting for. Um, like I said, Mick uh, confirmed me, announced it on one of my live with him last year. That is reindeer beer. So obviously we got the little like uh, Coca Cola vibe going on here. Uh, all we need is like a, a polar bear, and we'd have Coca Cola for Christmas. Um, but it's root beer, and it is the root beer donut candle from a few years ago, and it is equally amazing. <laughs> it is just straight up, straight up root beer, um, fizzing and everything. I don't know how it fits into Christmas other than calling it reindeer beer. I'm not complaining because I've been wanting this fragrance to come back ever since it came out in the three wick. Um, so no complaints from me. But to me, uh, root beer candle is a summer candle, but I'll give it a pass because it's back, right? Um, so yeah, reindeer beer here, reindeer beer here. Um, doo -doo -doo. fizzy root beer soda, Mrs. Claus's whipped ba whipped batter, ginger molasses, root chips, and vanilla. Mm, so good, so good, so good. All right, and last but certainly not least, obviously my favorite Father Christmas, Kurt Russell. Right. Oh, I didn't even read what root beer float says. 
After a long winter's night of global travel, reindeer like to kick back and enjoy the handcrafted reindeer beer made with the finest ingredients and aged with root chips for a smooth finish. Way to go, Pringle. Good job there. I like that. So the root, so the reindeer beer is for the reindeers. <laughs> Man. All right. This is... Kind of what you would smell Santa Claus to smell like. Masculine, right? Leather. Romantic. Saffron, right? Um, kind of a little bit of everything going on here. But it's overall a really, really brilliant fragrance. A little bit of cedar. Not like smokiness in here, but there's definitely like a, a woody note going on here of leather, um, some sweetness, right? Kind of, it's just, it's romantic and masculine and manly and Christmassy all in one coal, right? Some coal going on here. Just great. And strength wise, it's really strong. I'm about three burns. Three or four burns on this one, I forget. Um, haven't trimmed the wicks yet. They're still coming strong. No soot. All right. Maybe a few little uh, wick things on the side there, but yeah. And, and one thing I want to know, I want to know here. So these labels, obviously, they're not meant to glow. Unfortunately, right? They have that metallic metallic backing. Okay. So they're not going to really glow at all. Um, the three wicks will glow, obviously, because they're painted and they're translucent. Now, I don't have the three wick for this because the three wick's not ready yet. As it, well, it wasn't ready yet. I don't know if it's ready for sale on, on Thursday, though. Um, hopefully, it will be. And I've seen the label. It's uh, mostly red. It's, got a, it's uh, not cartoony, but it's silhouette. Like a red Santa Claus silhouette. But uh, this label, uh, hands down, the best of this year. And it's interesting for just a human face, right? But because Santa Claus is magic, he is myth mythical, he is um, an aura around Father Christmas, right? Um, there's just something about this that I uh, just like. I just like a lot. So, sorry it's been 32 minutes, but I wanted to get it all in there, give them their due. You know, I'm not going to just show them and do all that stuff but um yeah so my top picks because what i've been doing lately top picks for kringle and my predictions on sellouts ones that will sell out sooner i'm not saying they're going to sell out on launch day they could i don't know how many they produced but my top favorites and i think are going to sell out first whether it's thursday or whether it's in two weeks from now um, Father Christmas, Reindeer Beer, um, and then Toss Up Between Crinkle Cookie and um, Christmas Cake Pops. Toss Up Between those two on the Kringle side. On the country side, um, there's really no question. It's going to be Blue Spruce, Wishing for Christmas, and Peppermint Cocoa. Um, I think those are the three that are going to go first. Um, so those are my three. Those are also my top three there um least favorite obviously is uh pomegranate not a huge fan of that um winter woods just because i think it's gonna give me a headache there and then the cheesecake one so those are the ones that that while while not horrible fragrances just not my favorites so um all right guys so again september 7th 9 a.m eastern standard time use code philly candleman save you 15 percent off your whole purchase um, and i'll see y'all real soon stay safe out there